Hearts 3 Remind DLC is right around the corner, and that final trailer that we got was completely bonkers. It answered a lot of our questions and a lot of our prayers and wants when it comes to this DLC. And one of the biggest desires that we had was an explorable, expanded Scala Ad Kylum. Once a seat of power for all Keyblade wielders, it is the nexus in which all worlds spring. Scala Ad Kylum was the location of the final battle between Sora and Xehanort, and apparently it was the original Keyblade training facility for young Xehanort and young Ericus, where they would train under their master and play chess on their time down. With such a giant, beautiful world with such an air of mystery and importance, it's great to see that we'll be able to explore this area to a degree. But a lot of people are not talking about the secrets that we can gain from this mysterious town, as well as the giant elephant in the room that connects us to another important area within the lore of Kingdom Hearts. But we're gonna blow that out and tackle it today. What's up guys, it's HMK once again with another Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC video. Scala Ad Kylum has easily become one of my more favorite areas within the entirety of Kingdom Hearts and the fact that we're gonna explore it in the DLC has me super hyped. But let's talk about what we can gain by exploring this area in the DLC. For the safety of hype, I'm gonna ask you to strap on in, let's dive directly into the darkness. Off the bat, at first glance, it seems that the explorable Scala Ad Kylum will function very similar to that of Cavern of Remembrance from Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In the trailer, it shows that Sora is able to activate these orbs which gives him access to flow motion rails that will take him to another part of Scala Ad Kylum. It's currently unknown how much is explorable on foot and how many rails are we going to get when exploring Scala Ad Kylum. But from my take, it seems that these rails will take you to other sections that you will not be able to get to on foot. Which makes sense if we're comparing this to that of Cavern of Remembrance because that area did have different sections they were able to explore. In Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, they are walled off between doors and entrances. But since we have this big open-like world that runs with the theme of Kingdom Hearts 3 and the power of next generation, we don't really need doors anymore, so we're gonna have to find a different way to wall off these sections. And how are they gonna do it? Through the rails. And you know, if we're talking about how this is gonna be like the Cavern of Remembrance, it seems that this could be the area where we can access the new data battles in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, thus making Scala Ad Kylum the primary location of what seems to be the Limit Cut episode. And that is a huge deal that we're gonna focus on in a little bit. When thinking about how to access an explorable Scala Ad Kylum in Kingdom Hearts 3 when we get Remind, I was a bit confused and I was playing around with an idea of a separate gate portal that will be at the Keyblade Graveyard that will lead you to a different version of Scala Ad Kylum which is explorable and thus will not proc the final battle at the end of the game. You know, instead of going through the gate that will lead you to the final battle with Xehanort, there will be another gate behind it, ahead of it, next to it, whatever. But if this is the primary location of the Limit Cut episode, then it will probably be accessible through a separate portion of the menu when you start off the game, possibly a Remind menu, because Namora did confirm that the separate scenarios in extension these episodes that are additional through a mind will be able to be enjoyed separately and independently from the main game. That is of course only after you beat the game. You'll go into a menu, you'll choose the limit cut episode, you'll choose the file in which you want to play the limit cut episode and then it might just drop you in Scala Ad Kylum. That's what I'm thinking based on the information that we know anyway so. And being in the limit cut episode and as an episode it will focus completely on Scala Ad Kylum and the the secrets that it could be hiding from us from the main game. We'll learn more lore within the town. As we explore, we'll check out the different buildings, probably having businesses, flyers. Maybe we'll understand a little bit more of the Scala Ad Kylum language thanks to all of this area. And you know, it could be possible as we go on in this town, we might go all the way to reach the classroom at the top of Scala Ad Kylum. You know, where young Xehanort and young Ericus would have class and play chess. We do know that it was all programmed in at one point thanks to the 13th vessel. So working our way up to the town could lead to the ultimate information at the top of the tower. And perhaps it is on the rooftop above the classroom which we fought Xehanort, where the data battles of the 13 Seekers of Darkness, the new fights, will Will be accessible. But I want to dial back to the fact that this episode, the Limica episode, could focus very much so on Scala Ad Kylum. Sure, we get the boss battles, but it being an episode could give us more information on what this town really is, as well as giving us the relationship between it and the land of departure. 
Why did Xehanort and Ericus eventually wind up in a different world completely if this is where they truly studied? Because for the longest, we thought that Ericus and Xehanort trained together at the Land of Departure with their master. But now in Kingdom Hearts 3, it turns out they actually trained together in Scala Ad Kylum. It could be very possible while exploring this town, we'll gain that information on how this connects to the Land of Departure. Especially given that the Master of Masters will have a conversation with young Xehanort about the world tour, which is a journey that Xehanort undertook in order to prepare for the Mark of Mastery exam that we know thanks to the secret reports. So if we know we're going to get this in Kingdom Hearts Through Remind, perhaps we will learn what became of Scala at Kylum after Xehanort and Ericus left it. Because thanks to the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, it's really up in the air if Scala at Kylum is still in existence, is it ruined, did it break, as we went to a past version of it using Xehanort as a portal. But if that's not the case in the Limit Cut episode and we're traveling to another version of Scala Ad Kalam, will this also be in the past or will it be in real time? These are all secrets that I must know when playing in Scala Ad Kalam in Kingdom Hearts Through Remind. But it is time to tackle the biggest elephant in the room when it comes to Scala Ad Kalam finally being explorable in the DLC. One gigantic secret that I want to know, you want to know, we all want to know is how exactly is this place connected to Daybreak Town? As we all know, when we first enter Scala at Kalem, the familiar theme of the Case of the Foretellers plays in the background, which is directly in connection with the Kingdom Hearts key lineup of games and Daybreak Town itself. But what's more horrifying is that during the final battle between Sora and Xehanort, we find out that the ruins of Daybreak Town hang below the foundations of Scala at Kalem. As the story of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross is still ongoing, it's currently unknown what became of Daybreak Town, except for the fact that it has seen a very dark fate. But I feel that in Kingdom Hearts Through Remind, we'll finally learn how exactly did Daybreak Town become Scala Ad Kylum. As it seems, not only are we going to get more information on the Black Box, thanks to the trailers and Luxord and Zigbar, which is going to be another huge video, we're going to talk about that. But since Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind is still a ways away, it's not going to drop until the end of January for PlayStation and the end of February for Xbox, we might get another huge story dump when it comes to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross that can link everything together between Daybreak Town and Scala Ad Kylum. The last couple of story elements that we got were pretty juicy when it comes to Lushu, the Master of Masters, and the entire identity of the Keyblade War. And the fact that the Master of Masters is going to make an appearance in Kingdom Hearts Remind, it seems that we're finally going to get some much needed context moving forward in the Kingdom Hearts series on how Scala Ad Khan could relate to Daybreak Town, the Foretellers, Lushu, the Black Box, and maybe even Yazora. There's a ton of stuff that I'm hoping to discover and explore when it comes to Scala Ad Kylum, and I feel that I'm going to lose a lot of hours exploring this town. Unlike that of Cavern of Remembrance, which is literally just an underground cave of the underworkings and pipelines of Radiant Garden, this explorable area I feel is going to be extremely lore heavy. And all of that just gets me super excited for the aspects of Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. I mean, the most exciting thing for me, of course, is Roxas, playable Roxas. And although the data battles, which could be incorporated into this area, is something that I'm looking forward to a lot, I think a good chunk of me is looking more towards the explorable Scala at Kylum when it comes to my hype meter. But all around, Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind looks super juicy and I cannot wait to finally explore Scala at Kylum. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you ready to explore this area? Do you agree with what I said when it comes to the secrets of this town and what we could learn in the DLC when we're talking about the Limit Cut episode? What are you looking forward to the most when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to like, share, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK as I post Kingdom Hearts content every week. Big thanks once again to my Patreon supporters for help making this video happen. If you want to find out how you can support HMK for just a dollar a month, please check out my Patreon page. Alright guys, until the next Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC video, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.